This is FAIR TV. I'm Janine Jackson. It's not every day you hear a TV reporter talk about all the things he doesn't know, but here's NBC's Meet the Press host David Gregory on July 7th talking about the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Uh, I don't ex understand exactly how the exchanges are going to work. Uh -huh. I don't understand all the ins and outs of the employer mandate and how that works. But anybody who gets a paycheck in this country understands one thing, yeah. that there's a new line item, and it says Medicare surtax. So the tax part's working. Yeah. You're well. paying more in taxes <laughs> for Obamacare. That yeah. part's working. It makes a lot of people mad. So he doesn't know a lot about the law. But the part that he thinks he does know, that every worker is paying a new Obamacare tax, isn't true. That additional Medicare tax is paid by people with incomes over $200,000. That would be people in the top 2% of household income. People like David Gregory, in other words, and maybe most of the people he knows. On NBC Nightly News July 9th, anchor Brian Williams had an announcement. There is consumer product news tonight. The folks at Hamburger Helper say they'd like to be thought of more as just helpers, since more and more people are eating chicken, and there's a helper for that, too. General Mills say they just want to help dinner in America. Viewers were left to wonder what else may have been in the press release. Early the next day, NBC's Today Show, also in the news division, brought viewers the news that the company Dyson has a new floor cleaning device. The company founder, who Matt Lauer explained, comes up with all kinds of cool products, was brought on. And at one point, Savannah Guthrie exclaimed that she was sure the thing would be another one of those things where we think, yes, why did we wait so long for this invention? For those viewers searching the screen for a toll-free number, Lauer clarified. We don't do this as a commercial. We do it because there is a cool factor yeah. attached to your products. And when other people develop cool products, we'll bring those on as well. The lesson seems to be buying advertising is for suckers. And finally, ABC correspondent Jonathan Carl is the most visible product of the Collegiate Network, a right-wing outfit that supports conservative campus publications and funds internships at Beltway media outlets aimed at getting more right-wing journalists into news outlets. What the network seeks is more news that looks like Carl's July 7th interview with former President George W. Bush. Many another reporter would be embarrassed at the image polishing session, which focused on Bush's charity work in Africa, where, Carl told him, you're something of a rock star. And no, asking Bush whether he agrees with Obama's assessment that his AIDS relief policy was one of his crowning achievements does not count as tough questioning. Also, this happened. Uh, so, so, so what do you make? I know you're not into psychoanalysis. Some, these are your critics who, who say that, that all this Africa work you're doing, that a big part of it is you're trying to make up for mistakes you made in Iraq or oh, elsewhere, yeah. and this is... You know, you say to that? Let them continue to babble. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I, I'm trying to think of the proper word. Absurd psycho babble. As fawning as the whole thing was, and Bush at one point even joked how presidents tend to get criticized, but added, but not by you, John, Bush still circumscribed the interview. When Carl asked him if his feelings on same-sex marriage had evolved, Bush refused to answer, saying he was off the stage unless I'm promoting something I strongly believe in. He didn't add, or if I'm talking to a softballer like you, but gosh, by that point, he didn't need to. I'm Janine Jackson. This is FAIR TV.